Hey folks, today we're talking about time-weighted versus money-weighted ways of calculating returns. Not an easy concept, but one we're going to delve into today to make sure you understand how your money is working for you. I'm Rob Tatro from robtatro.com, head of the Tatro Wealth Advisor Group here at Canaccord Genuity Wealth Management. We'd love for you to subscribe, give us your thoughts through comments, like and share. And by the way, if you want to speak to me, go to speaktorob.com, book a consultation, and we'll be chatting in no time. All right, money-weighted returns versus time-weighted returns. So historically, funds and mutual fund managers and portfolio managers have generally referred to their performance in a time-weighted return number. So time-weighted is effectively a performance of time. So month by month, week by week, day by day, how the performance has been irrespective of if there are inflows or outflows into their funds or into their performance. It's used to measure, to compare a portfolio manager to another. The idea is that you don't want to penalize a portfolio manager if a ton of money came in midway through the year, or if a ton of money moved out of his fund halfway through the year, or if a ton of money was there just for one month or five months. It's effectively the sum of the performance of all the days for the year. So it's a time-weighted, how much did you return in January? How much did you return in February, in March, etc., all the way to December? And that's effectively your number. Now, there are formulas for this, but I am trying to simplify it for the purpose of today's uh, video because I think it's important to understand the actual concept and the formulas. If you want to dig deep into them, you could do that uh, maybe on your own time. So the time weighted is something that we've used historically, used to be reported, and now recently most institutions have started reporting both time and money weighted. So money weighted. So money weighted is the is the concept that I was referring to that we're trying to avoid in time weighted, whereby if there is money that enters the portfolio at a later date, or if there's money that comes out of the portfolio at a later date, that is actually factored in. Now your money weighted average for an individual will generally be much different than time weighted if you move money, a significant money in or out of your portfolio. If there's no money movement of any kind, the two are going to be largely similar. They're going to be largely similar. And you know what? If, if you're not sure exactly on that point, feel free to reach out to speaktorob.com. That'd be a great topic for you to speak to. Uh, speaktorob.com. Reach out to me. Fill out a con consultation form. But more importantly, as the money is being added to an account, as the money is being added to account, if the performance is strong in the later months, You've, you've not performed the same as in the time weighted. A simple, simple example, you got a dollar in your investment account, all right? So you're up 50% in the first half of the year, you pull the dollar out of your investment account, and you're flat the rest of the year. You're gonna have a very strong money weighted return because your full dollar performed during the first half of the year while you had invested, and you, you, know, you had no money that lost money or was flat for the second half of the year. Now if you have a time weighted average, the time-weighted average wouldn't care that you had no money invested in the second half of the year. It would recognize every single month, every single day throughout the year as a portion that is equally important and therefore your returns would be much lower in that case in a time-weighted example versus in a money-weighted example. Now people often ask me, which one's more important for me, Rob? What matters more for me? Well, I'll say this. If you're measuring your portfolio manager or if you're trying to measure your funds, straight up to compare them, I would be using a time-weighted average. Most of the time it's going to come to something accurate and the manager is not penalized if funds are moving out. If you want to know personally how your money did during that year and there was a significant movement of funds, I would consult the money-weighted average during that time. Listen folks, I know this is a bit of a complicated topic and we've had a lot of questions on this, so if you're unclear on any of that, please just reach out Give me, a, give me a shout out through speaktorob.com. We'd love to hear more from you and we'd love to chat with you on this. So again, I'm Rob Tatro from robtatro.com. Thanks for coming today. Please remember to subscribe. Please remember to comment. We'd love to hear from you. Like and share. Thanks. Have a great day.